Now, I know uh, one topic that a lot of internet fans enjoy is uh, discussing, you know, potential matchups. And, you know, since you are, you know, you have so much experience, so many years in the game, I wanted to ask you that. A few questions on, you know, uh, fantasy matchups of sorts. One of your fighters, Thomas Hearns, uh, we had a discussion, I think, last week, at, you know, with Shannon Briggs, and he was, he was asking, you know, about the possibility of, say, a Hearns versus Mayweather fight. What would, might happen in something like that? So I want to ask you, since, you, you know, you've trained Tommy. I have no doubt in my mind, out of all respect to Mayweather for doing what he's did and what he's accomplished, that he he would never be really a serious threat to me with Thomas Hearns. First of all, Thomas Hearns is physically so much bigger, and the fact that Thomas Hearns never, ever, ever had problems with technical boxers. Sugar Ray Leonard, he never was outboxed by Ray Leonard. Uh, with Fredo Benitez, the same as Virgil Hill. All the technical boxers were the guys who were the easiest for Tommy to beat because he had such a great left jab himself. Thomas Hearns had problems more with brawlers than he did with technical fighters. And Mayweather just physically is not big enough for Thomas, and I think his physical structure, that powerful, long left jab, and I think that uh, eventually his physical size would have been where the right hand would have landed and it would have, he would have never, Mayweather would never have saw it. But all you can do is be the best of your era, Mm -hmm. And that's what I think that Floyd needs to concentrate on because he still hasn't fought or uh, defeated the really quality of the elite welterweights of his era, let alone talking about being the greatest of all time. You got some of the best welterweights since the Hearns, Leonard, Duran, Benitez, Quavis era. And, but the thing is those guys all fought each other. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's got the guys up there such as right now uh, Shane Mosley still. Uh, Miguel Cotto, I mean, right at his earl. So I would like to see him compete against the best fighters of his own earl before we're talking about what he could have did with the past guys. Uh, and if he established himself then, it would be good, but I don't think under any condition I would favor him over beating on Thomas Hearns. Well, is there any guy today that you think, you know, Tommy might have, you know, a harder fight with against than Sam Mayweather? <laughs> the fighters up there are out here today in the welterweight division. I believe that uh, one of the guys who could possibly be a problem would have been maybe not Miguel Cotto, but I just don't think I could see him uh, being that much of a problem. I, I don't see of the present well to waste anyone that I think would have been a major problem with Thomas. I see. Well, I know he had, he had a fight uh, on Cruiserweight. That was his last uh, fight he came out. So I was wondering, you know, is he going to keep fighting? Has he talked to you about that at all? You know, I think it was Jeremy Bates was the, was the opponent. Do you have any... Thomas Hearns still desires and wants to fight in this training uh, at home in Detroit and has wanted to come down here to train with us in the training camp. Mm -hmm. And he still has plans and aspirations of fighting. I am not for it, but who can say, you know, I, the last fight that Evander Holyfield fought against Sultan Abramov, I was very impressed even though he lost the fight. Mm -hmm. I thought he looked surprisingly good. And the same is for Shane Mosley. I thought even though he lost to Miguel Cotto, I thought that he would looked very well. I mean, he was looks very fit, looked very good. And if you didn't know the name and the experience and the history behind him, you would thought it was a new young fighter. So, I I just uh, feel that a lot of fighters are fighting now and getting away to some degree because there's really not that much talent out there in the younger guys coming up. Well, the one question I wanted to ask you about, and this is more for Boxing Confidential fans than anybody else, is uh, I know Mike Marley, our executive editor, said that at one time he had an exhibition-style match with Thomas Hearns. <laughs>
uh, you know, Mike is one of the most amazing men, and why I have so much respect for Mike Tyson. Uh, it's Mike Tyson still is often a small guy. I mean, Mike is maybe about an inch, inch and a half taller than I am, but I'm only 5'9". And the fact that he accomplished what he did uh, was amazing. And that sometimes he lost when he fought big guys who were talented guys who wasn't intimidated by him. He always had a problem because he really was nothing but much more than almost a cruiserweight fighting these super heavyweights. And so I think Ali would have won the fight because I thought he had too much boxing skills and physical size and just all around generalship. And usually as the fight went on, oftentimes Mike, as he tired uh, physically and mentally, he had problems in later rounds with those big guys. And Ali actually fought better in the later rounds when he would get tired. He was a master at being able to fight while he was exhausted and think good. So I just definitely feel that uh, Ali was too big and too talented and all the way around too much for Mike. But it's not to take away from Mike because what he's accomplished is way beyond what he should have being such a small guy. Is there anything you'd like to add in closing? No, I just keep up the good work and I'm looking forward to just having a good year in boxing. I thought uh, 2007 was a really, really good year and I see the same thing coming up in uh, 2008 because of the fact that the uh, best fighters are standing up and fighting the best fighters. I would like to see that happen with Mayweather too uh, in the welterweight division. I just made the, the money fights, but I would like to see Mayweather fight some of the better fighters so we can really evaluate him a little bit better. But if he can continue to do what he's doing, more power to him. Very, very, very smart and so far been successful. But I am looking forward to 2008 continuing the trend of 2007 which means the best fighters fighting the best and win or lose. And I'm really happy about the way that the fans now are supporting fighters. If they lose a fight and they fought a great fight, they're bringing them right back again and not like years years back. If you lost, it was like you was thrown out to the pastures. The fight coming up between uh, Pacquiao and uh, Marquez, I'm, I'm salvaging it to mouth for that. And Enzo Macaronelli and David Hay, uh, good fights. I'm excited about it. And also the... Uh, fight between Bernard Hopkins and Calzag. A very interesting, intriguing fight. It may not be exciting, but those are some good fights, and I think that's what's going to continue to bring boxing fans back.